Okay, welcome to Linux Music One. This week we're going to take a quick look at the M Audio Oxygen 25 keyboard. Uh, if you're using it with Linux, you might have noticed the CD doesn't work. Uh, so if you want to assign the control knobs, this, that's what we're going to do. So stick with us. Let's take a look. Okay, this might be one of those things that everybody except me knows, but I didn't know it. And off the on the off chance there's one other person out there that doesn't know, then then this might be helpful. Uh, so let's start with this. You bought your shiny new Oxygen 25 keyboard. Uh, it said eight uh, assignable control keys, and you got it home. You took it out of the box, and then discovered that the software that they send with it doesn't work so you can't assign those keys and you don't know what the heck to do now uh well it is stupidly simple and if you're a midi expert you probably know it but i'm not uh, so i didn't so first notice here's your uh assignable keys or your assignable knobs up there at the top and second notice that on the front of the keyboard uh, right there where all the keys are, there's these words, uh, control, assign, channel, this and that, and some number keys and an enter key. Uh, we're going to need those words, and here's what, here's how you assign uh, the knobs. First, just pick a knob, twiddle it, uh, just move it back and forth, and hit the advanced key. Then go down and hit that very first key. Notice it says a control, assign in front of it. And then use the number keys and enter the control channel you want it to uh, be. In, in my case, I, I like uh, my first key to be pan, so I hit a 10 because 10 is uh, the control channel for panning in MIDI. And then just hit enter. So let's go through that again. Twiddle the knob that you want, want to assign. Hit advanced. Hit control assign. Hit whatever the number of, of the channel you want to enter, 1 and 0 in, in sequence if it's 10. Then hit the enter key. That's all there is to it. Uh, in, in my case, like I said, I did 10 uh, for panning. So let's go and, and see if it's, it's really working. Okay, so let's try this thing. First, we will, uh, well, we're not looking at AM synth. We want to look at Zen, add some effects. And uh, I think I have this connected up. Let's take a look here at um, my jack. I've got Oxygen 25 hooked to, that's my keyboard, hooked to the Zen Add Sub Effects. And Zen Add Sub Effects coming out. Okay, good. So far, so good. So I'll play something. <laughs> And let's uh, move that uh, pan knob all the way over to the left. And I hope you're looking right down here at the uh, channels. And we'll move it all the way over to the right. And so you can see that's how the pan channel works. Now just as kind of a freebie on these uh, MIDI connections, let's, let's throw an AM synth. Uh, we'll come over here to our jack connections and we will unhook oxygen from zen and hook it to am synth and come over here to audio and hook am synth into well it looks like it's already there uh, into the system or is it am synth into the system okay now it is and what we're going to do is this is a little different we need to uh, right click this and it'll say oscillator mix as you can see that I've got a pulse and a sawtooth and I happen to have my second control key because I I have assigned all these uh, assigned to 11 so let's uh, let's try something here okay and let's take my second control key and hopefully you see that Watch right here to the oscillator key. And you can see that the control knob 
on my uh, oxygen keyboard uh, controls this. So again, uh, there are standards like PAN uh, that Zen already understands, and these these uh, various software synths have have ways to assign control knobs to features. If I was to come over here and hit AMP, it tells me it's uh, hooked to the master volume. And let me come down here. Oops, wrong way. Oops, pass volume, okay. And so as you, as you see, uh, there's a way. I, I Did I say I'm right-clicking? Anyway, I'm right-clicking on these things. That's what it is in AM synth. Every one of these synths has a little different way, but they'll all let you assign the various knobs on your keyboard. Uh, the control knobs to various features in the synth, whether it be, uh, I mean, you can control the filters, the the envelopes, whatever whatever it would be. So you saw that. Uh, remember, it's uh, twiddle the knob, hit advanced, hit uh, control assignment, enter the number, hit enter, you're there. That's it for your oxygen. And uh, hope you learned something. And I hope this actually, I hope this applies to the keyboards. I don't happen to have any. I'm a I'm a guitar player, not a not a keyboard player, but uh, maybe this will be helpful to you. Thanks. Okay, well, that's it for this week. Uh, I hope you learned something. I hope that works for you. Uh, fa frankly, uh, I might have mentioned I'm a guitar and dobro player. I, I don't know why these synths fascinate me so, but uh, they do. And I think we're going to do a run on Zen Add Sub Effects because it is... It is just really cool, and, it, and it's all in there. So anyway, here's the websites uh, and the versions. Uh, as always, if your stuff doesn't look like my stuff, check here first. Uh, uh, get, get involved. Uh, all, by the way, the stuff we've touched on is just is just the, the very beginning. All these websites will have help text, uh, manuals, everything else to get you going. So uh, roll up your sleeves, uh, crank up the PC, and let's do it. Thank <laughs> you.